hopefully we can get through this and have enough uh, for a video. Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering from old, over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear. But that didn't help, now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room be... Ugh. Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... David? David, where are you? Central Hospital. It's a state over. Why are you way over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please, don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David! Uh, he's in another state? It'd probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to get David. I I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. Dun. David's car. He's gotta still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Dun 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 dun. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? Go. Who's there? What are you doing there? Uh, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Man, the hell was that? Babe, babe. Uh, babe. Uh, babe. Uh, babe. Uh, babe. Someone else? David? Hey, who are you? Y'all. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on y'all. Smell y'all. Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Bump, 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 bump. What? Dang it. I fumble fingered. Oh god, this again. I'm sorry. <clears throat> there was a crooked man. 
And he walked a crooked mile. A kid? D don't tell me a kid's wandering here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. C kid, what are you doing? And they all live together in a crooked little house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry. And he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time. And he sighed. And so he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with that kid? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Oh, I forgot to look at the cats. Oh, dang it. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion, what do you mean teasing you? Just who are you? Just who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. So that's it. <sighs> Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for, uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened to you, I'd be putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. Alright, please, come back quickly. Right. Oh, lord, lord. Just wait for me, David. I can't ever do Paul's voice, like, consistently for a long time. David, what are you doing out there? Open the door, silly. David. Paul? Why... Why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave, stay away. David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's all I'll be. That's what I'll be. Whoops. And those are the only things I'll have. David? What? What's that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here. Right now. David! Punch! One punch! Ah! Now, multiple punches! Ow! Bam! Bam! Bra 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 You damn monster, get away from David Hey ow stop ow Yeah 
That hurts. Stop, you moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like hell. If that's the kind of thing you do sane, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. I'm already at like ten and a half minutes, so we should be good. Ugh. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster. That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Mary never believe me, sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo, I think I met him. Huh, that's ridiculous. Fluffy maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousnesses, they sort of stick around in places. Did you just say consciousnesses? More of your occult shtick? You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen and no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others, and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from that stuff he left, and that was all stuff you could identify with. So, what do you think of a guy who's the spinning image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both, same as him. Think back, the crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm? What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You're my bro. And like, if you ever, ever die, I will kill you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you come back to a safe. I... I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Aw, oh, it's so cute. It's a bromance. Scene 4, Central Hospital, Pool. End. Alright. Boop. We're almost at the end, uh, starting point of the last video. Home sweet home.
This is the place for sure. Could this be his house? Excuse me, can I have a second? Well, I'm turning around here. Going for a stroll? Uh, I, I don't... No, actually, um, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Miss McGon? But, Miss, Miss who? M Miss McGon? Somebody named McGon lives here? Sorry, Mom, Miss McGon passed away last year. Your husband has got to have a son. Where's the fine house it is? Can you, like, can you take your hand out of your mouth? Oh, yeah, I think so. so. We should just run out of the house. Do you know anything about her son? No, I never said him. I don't know what for his back. I love that pop out right away. I see. I don't know. I gotta get him back to bring my wife will be livid. It's gonna take a while in my best so cold. Don't catch cold or nothing. Uh, yes, thank you. You too. Okay. Cool. Uh, so the last video we'll pick up here. Um, and then we'll go through the house. You'll see the ending, and then hear a little bit of my thoughts on it. But 16 and a half ish minutes, it's not that bad. Um, so I'll just leave it as its own video. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.